standing in front of Bell Rock Memorial Park, and just behind me is a centerpiece called the Soldiers and Sailors Monument. Located on 143 Malden Main Street, this monument was dedicated to the veterans that risked their lives during the Civil War. This specific memorial is, the one of, is one of the most remarkable Malden pieces in the Commonwealth, both in terms of the fine quality of the sculpture and the grandeur of the surrounding landscaping. This statue was specifically placed on top of an outcropping known as Bell Rock because it is actually centered in Malden. Before this monument was erected on June 17, 1910 by Bella Leon and Frederick Law Olmst, it was once a location of a colonial bell tower used to call the community to worship at the adjacent First Parish Church. It was in 1904 when the city of Malden decided to plan out a recreational park and Civil War Memorial. They collected Bell Rock and the land that surrounded it, and from this they brought Frederick Law to design the landscape and also had a sculpture, Bella Leon, to design the monumental statue. The statue grouping features a soldier, a sailor, and a color bearer. Just at the base of the statue, you see a plaque that shows the numbers of men from Malden who served in different branches. There were exactly 832 who served, 64 of them died in the war. The monument overall acts as a symbol of freedom and is placed to commemorate those that have fought. After learning about this monument, I wanted to know what other people that came here thought about it and decided to interview them and ask them some questions. Here is what they said. Before we filmed the people we were going to interview, I made sure to speak to them off camera and see if it was okay if they were filmed. So let's just interview some people and see what they had to say about this monument. There's someone right there, it looks like. Uh, excuse me, sir. Yeah. Is it possible if we can interview you? What is, uh, this video is about uh, this monument and what it has to offer and like, the history around it. Yeah, of course. And we wanted to know what you thought about it. Yeah, of course. All right, so, so this monument here is called the Civil War Memorial Statue. Did you know that? I honestly did not. You really know that? I did oh. not know that. Can you say like a, uh, just like a question. Uh, are you from Malden, Massachusetts? Yes, I live in Malden. And um, I wanted to ask, do you, really, do you see people uh, come here often? Yeah, I see a lot of people walk around. It's like a nice park to walk around. But uh, specifically, do you see like people like come to this uh, monument and like just like, uh, I guess like glorify it and like, you know? Uh, whenever I walk by or drive by, I really don't see people like, look at the actual site, I usually just see people walk around. Really? So yeah. so you think that mo the majority of the people that actually come to Bell Rock, uh, the Bell Rock Memorial Park, they usually just like go to the park and like walk around? Yeah. Rather than like memorialize the statue? Yeah. I have okay. a question. Imagine the mayor of, of Malden decided to remove the statue. Yes. Would it personally affect you? Like would it like affect your day to day life? Something like that? Personally, it would not affect me because I don't really go here for the actual site. I just go come here because it's a nice spot to chill at. So personally, it would not affect me. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. All right, so there you have it, guys. Listening to what he had to say, it really surprised me that a modern resident did not know much about this monument. It almost makes itself useless and have no meaning considering the fact that he rarely sees anyone admiring the masterpiece, which reveals the ways in which it fails to be a monument. After interviewing that person, I wanted to get another person's understanding because I believe one perspective should not determine the worth of a yes. monument. So I see a person looking at this monument. I want to see what he has to say about it. Uh, excuse me, sir. I see you looking at this monument. And I want to know like, what brought you here and what you think about it. Um, I'm just here just for the monument, just like to learn more about what happened. So did you know that the people actually in front of this building are people that risked their lives during the civil war and that's why they, they're memorializing this one did you know about that yeah i did uh, some good amount of research about the civil war oh really yeah so so when you when you did research about the civil war did you uh try to look for monuments to talk about it and you came here i do this to like uh increase my experience when it comes to the civil war in fact i actually volunteer at the museum regarding american history oh really and so so uh, this special monument, the mayor actually built, erected this in the 1800s, yeah. and he centered it in Malden. And there was a reason for this, so that people all over Malden can come here. So let me ask you this, are you actually a Malden resident? I actually live in Rivera. Oh, really? So you you came from Rivera to Malden, just to look at this monument? Yeah, I actually drove there. I actually parked my car over there. Oh, okay. Alright, so you said that you parked your car here. I want to know, do you think monuments actually, like, have like a, an importance to it? Do you think yeah, they do something, they actually make people aware about their, their, their city's history? I feel like monuments 
have true meaning to those that truly appreciate this country and the people that fought for this country. For example, monuments like this, all I think of is freedom. All I think of is every man is free in this country. Do you think people should understand the importance of freedom? And like, yes. and this is America. Yeah, and they should, they should really like appreciate that these people fought for us and gave us our freedom. Exactly, that's what goes on through my head every day. Okay. Uh, I also wanted you an important question. I've been, you're not actually not the only person I've interviewed. Um, Cause like, I'm, I'm really talking about how this, how this monument in, in specific fails and excels. Like, 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 what does it do? And so I want to ask you a question. If this monument was removed, what, what, what do you think, uh, would this really affect you personally or not? I feel like this would cause like a deep tear into my soul. Because uh, I have relatives and ancestors like in my family tree that have fought in the Civil War. Are you serious? Yes. Wow. So I feel like the freedom that they fought for like relates to me in my day-to-day -day life, which is why I love this country. Okay. And so I have a question. So do you is this your first time coming here, or do you usually or do you come here often? Um, I usually come here like after work, just to like reflect and just to like. Uh, reaffirm the, the values I have. After listening to what he had to say, it was clear to me that there is an obvious difference in opinion between the Civil War Memorial. Although I only interviewed two people, it gave me a sense of what people think about this monument. Before I visited this place, I assumed that there would be a decent amount of people observing the monument. However, I was wrong. I barely saw anyone at the actual memorial. Rather, there were families and children having fun at the park. What was even surprising to me was that there were kids sitting on the monument and they were playing their music and littering the area. So to me, I find that disrespectful since this is a place to almost pay respects to the fallen and the people that don't respect that should not be there in the first place. And when I, thinking back to what my second interviewer had to say, he made me realize that the only people and, that only the people and families that were affected by a civil war know a lot more than the sol about the soldiers and sailors monument compared to people that, just, that are there just to have, uh, enjoy the time and walk past the memorial. And the point of a public monument is for anyone to come and commemorate the history behind the statue. And even though I did not see many people doing that and how the, the first person I interviewed said that he didn't see, he barely sees anyone doing, commemorating the monument. I still think that this monument is very important to modernist history and the people and it holds many values that some people can appreciate.